Lesson 8 Conservation of Number What does that mean? Conservation of numbers means that a person is able to understand that the number of objects remains the same even when rearranged. For example, are there the same amount of Legos on each side? Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine on the left hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are also nine on the right hand side. That means that there are the same number of Legos on both sides. What do you notice? There are both the same type of Legos, just rearranged in a different formation to give us a different shape. But they are the same number. Let us practice this. Underline the correct statement. We have two types of pebbles. Are they the same? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, they are the same number. But are they the same pebbles? No, they are not. So they are not the same. Let's look at these toy cars. How many toy cars are there on the left? There is one, two, three. There are three on the left. How many toy cars are there on the right? One, two, three. There are also three toy cars on the right. Are they the same cars? Yes, they are. Are they the same number? Yes, they are. That means that they are the same. But they are in a different arrangement. On the left you have the orange, blue and yellow car right at the top. Under that you have the green car and under that you have the red car. But if we look at the right, we have the orange, yellow and blue car at the top and we have the red and green cars next to each other under the multicolored car. They are the same cars with the same number on each side, just in a different formation or they are rearranged. Keeping that in mind, let's look at the next one. We have shelves. How many shelves do we have on the left hand side? We have one, two, three, four, five. There are five shelves on the left-hand side. Now, how many shelves are there on the right? There are one, two, three, four, five. Five shelves on the right as well. Are they the same shelves? Yes, they are. Are they the same number? Yes, they are. Do they look different in the way they are placed. Yes, they do. But are they the same? They are. So what is our answer? Our answer is the same. Here we have flowers. On our left hand side, we have three flowers. On our right hand side, we also have three flowers. Are they the same flowers? Yes, they are. Are they the same number? Yes, they are. Are they placed differently? Yes, they are. 
So, what is our answer? Is it the same or is it not the same? Great job! It is the same! Now let's look at these flowers. We have three flowers on the left. We have three flowers on the right. That's the same number, right? But are they the same flowers? No, they are not the same flowers. So, they are not the same. Let's look at more than, less than, equal to. Here we have shells. These are the same shells on both sides. But let us count. We will start with the left hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six on this side. And let's look at our right side. One, two, three, four, five. There are five. So, is our left side more than, less than, or equal to our right hand side? Great! Our left hand side is more than. Let's look at these Legos. On our left hand side, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the right hand side, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, is our left hand side more than, less than, or equal to a right hand side? Great job! It is less than. And for our last example, we have wind fans. How many do we have on the left? We have five. How many do we have on the right? We have five. So, is the left hand side more than, less than, or equal to a right hand side? It is equal to. And this is how we practice understanding conservation of numbers. Until next time, goodbye!